Hi, this is John from Disc Makers here with a video showing you how to use our templates in Canva. In this video, we will show you a few basic functions for designing your project in the free version of Canva. The main focus of this video is to show you how to use the Disc Makers templates in Canva so that you can provide print-ready artwork that fits our templates. There are design features in Canva that we won't be covering today. However, there are many guides available that can explain those features to you in great detail. The first step is to download the templates associated with your project. Those templates are available for you to download in your Disc Makers online account after saving a project quote. Once logged into your Disc Makers account, you will have access to the Project Center by clicking Get Started in the Artwork section of your saved project. On the screen that asks how will you supply your artwork, choose Upload Finished Artwork PDF, then Save and Continue. Click the link to download the latest design templates for each component of your project. Locate the download on your computer and unzip the compressed file. For Canva, you will be using the PDF version of the template. Now, log into Canva and click the Projects option on the left side of the screen. In the upper right hand corner, click Add New, then choose Upload. Navigate to the folder with the templates and upload the PDF template. Click on the thumbnail to start designing. The first thing you will need to do before starting your design is lock the template so that it doesn't accidentally get moved or modified while you're designing. To lock the template, simply click on Position from the top bar. This will bring up the Layers menu. Use your mouse to hover over the template layer, then click the three dots that appear. From that menu, choose Lock. Now that the template layer is locked, you can start designing. Here is an example of how to add elements to the disk template. Click on the Element tab on the left side of the screen to select the elements you wish to use in your design. In this example, we'll use the circle in the Lines and Shapes option. Once that is added, click on the position at the top right of your screen and click on Backwards, or use the Layers tool. Make sure any of the elements that are added are always behind the template lines. This makes it easier to see the template guidelines you need to design within. Once your element is behind the template lines, you can resize it to fit the template. You can then select a color for the shape. Now let's add an image. You can pick images from the Canva website or upload your own. We will be uploading our own, but if you want to use their stock library, you can find it here under Elements. Click on the Uploads button. Then click the Upload Files button. Select your image and wait for it to upload. Then simply drag the image into your layout. Make sure to send the image backwards to place it underneath the template layer. You can then resize it or move it to where you want. We are placing this image at the top of our design. Next, we're going to add some text. Click on the Text tab and then click Add Text Box. You will have the option to resize, change the color, and the style. When picking the style and size of fonts, choose normal to thick line so that the text is not difficult to read. The absolute minimum font size you would want to use is 6 point for paper and board products and 7 point for disk surfaces. Type out your text and fit it to the template. Be sure all of the letters fall within the green safety lines of our templates. If any text or image falls outside of the green safety lines, it runs the risk of being cut off when printed. Please be sure to pick a color for the text that is in high contrast against your background colors. Once your artwork is complete, the final step is to remove the template layer so it does not print as part of your design on the final product. Click on Position to get back to the Layers menu. Select the Locked Template Layer Click on the lock icon beneath your canvas to unlock the layer, then the trash can to delete it. It is important to make sure you're on the template layer to avoid deleting any elements of your design. Now that your design is ready to save, let's export the file. Click on the share button at the top right of your screen, then click the download option. Choose PDF print as your file type from the dropdown. Do not click any of the boxes below this option. The free version that we've been using only allows you to save in RGB, but rest assured, your files will be converted to CMYK by our experienced prepress team before printing. Alternatively, if you are using Canva Pro, go ahead and select CMYK for the color profile. 
Once your design is saved as a PDF, you are ready to upload it to your Disc Makers project and submit your order. We can't wait to see what you've come up with.